Last week we learned about John's baptism, right? John's baptism, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. And we learned that John was like a great announcer that Jesus was coming into play. And he announces Jesus big, like the Creighton uh, Blue Jay announcer announces the team coming in and announces the shots that are made. How many of you guys have been to a Creighton Blue Jay men's basketball game before? It's a ball going to those games, if you haven't been before. And the announcer is highly biased towards the Blue Jays. That's one of the things that I love about him. You'll hear him do something like, Doug McDermott, four, three. And then the other team scores a three-pointer and he goes, three-point basket by Miles Limp Walker. <laughs> but the biggest announcement is when they first come on the court and he'll say, introducing your Creighton Blue Jays. You know, and the crowd goes wild. I did that pretty well, didn't I? I think I could be like the substitute Creighton Blue Jay announcer, yeah. Maybe we can work that out. Anyway, when he makes this announcement, the lights go flashing, the video's on, and these huge hulks of men come out onto the field. And they are the champions that everybody cheers for for the next couple of hours. Well, Jesus is, or John the Baptist is a lot like that Creighton announcer, trying to help prime the pump for Jesus to come out on the field. And here's what his announcement looks like. He says this, I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And if you thought water baptism is good, this guy's coming who's bringing Holy Spirit baptism and fire baptism, and it's way bigger. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his thr threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff with an unquenchable fire. And after you hear this kind of announcement of this kind of a champion, you expect the champion of champions to show up straight off of the cover of Muscle and Fitness magazine, wearing his Nikes with a bag of bolts tied to his waist because that's what he eats for breakfast, and carrying a lightning rod in one hand and a flamethrower in the other. But instead, what you get is Jesus, a carpenter, ordinary worker, from Nazareth, of all places, backwater Nazareth. No formal education, no money, no lightning bolts, just the picture of humility. So humble, in fact, that John sees his entrance through baptism as something that's, that's not quite appropriate. And, you know, this humility of Jesus is one of the great things that draws us to him.